walking back into Downing Street, but as a significantly weakened Prime Minister. Theresa May had hoped to be celebrating an increased majority for the Conservative Party, having called a snap election in April. Instead, it's ended in a hung parliament. The Conservatives remain the largest party, but fell short of the 326 seats required to secure a majority government. With the backing of Northern Ireland's Democratic Unionist Party, May, though, will remain as Prime Minister. I have just been to see Her Majesty the Queen, and I will now form a government, a government that can provide certainty and lead Britain forward at this critical time for our country. A resurgent Labour Party defied expectations, increasing the party's number of seats. Leader Jeremy Corbyn had proved his doubters wrong, having secured a significant chunk of the youth vote. He called on Theresa May to resign. It doesn't look